Hello. My Hello. name is Scott Jarrett. And for Hi, the Scott. last 21 years, I have been the pastor of Christ Covenant Church of Denver, Colorado. Okay. During our time of comprehensive and careful study in God's Word, we have become convinced that faith alone is not enough. What? But getting to heaven requires that we also do the works of faithfully obeying God's commands. In other no. words, that obedience like faith is another condition or necessary instrument to our justification. Oh, like Doug that being Wilson. said, it is possible that we are wrong, and we know what that means. Embracing a false gospel well, will mean eternity in hell, and we don't want that, which is why we are making our appeal to you, the evangelical pastor, those confident that Scripture does indeed teach faith as salvation's only instrument or condition. Here, then, is our appeal to you. Well, Come to our church. We will present our wanna. position. And if you can prove from the scriptures that we are wrong, we will not only repent of our former position, but okay. bless you with $25,000. What? This is not a scam. We are sincere in our offer. The first person to prove that we are wrong will receive $25,000. Please consider our appeal. If you are selected, your travel to and from our church will be compensated. In addition, we promise to treat you with respect in an environment okay. of intellectual honesty and complete submission to God's word. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Wow. <laughs> All right. So this is this group in Colorado. You might have seen it, actually. Uh, I think Phil Johnson tweeted that there was a group from, uh, from this church. And I'll, I'll say this now, church, uh, because it's not a true Christian church if this is their theology. Um, but... They they belonged to this church and they went to Shepherd's Conference and uh, pulled like a full Mark Driscoll and started like handing out flyers everywhere about, you know, come to our church and we'll pay you twenty five thousand dollars if you could prove us wrong. <laughs> like, like I would deal with this theologically and like have a conversation, but it's just too goofy. It's too goofy to like really have a conversation. <laughs> like, yeah, Lucas is saying, let's go prove them wrong, bro. <laughs> we can split the cash. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. All right, so you go and they're like, oh, we're committed to, you know, intellectual honesty and whatever. Um, <laughs> like, They're not going to give you that. They're, they're going to be like, we're not convinced. And it's like, okay. Like, who's going to judge this thing? Who's going to, like, is Drew Carey, is it Drew Carey? Who does the prices right? <laughs> uh, it's Drew Carey, right? Like, he's he's going to go and, uh, you know, he's going to host this thing and he'll announce the winner and we'll do a big game show out of it. <laughs> this is game show theology. <laughs> like, people think that I do gimmicks. <laughs> it's like $25,000. Wow. Um... <laughs> Heidi, Dean, this sounds like a job for you. Think of all the updated equipment you can get. <laughs> like we can do, we can all, all the underdogs. All right. You guys wanted a conference? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Let's all go to Colorado and we'll all go to this church and we'll all prove them wrong. And then we'll split the 25,000. It'll really just, it'll cover our costs, you know, <laughs> for traveling out there. But I think, you know, we can. We could go and do this. Like, who's going to do this? So, obviously, this is a gimmick to try to get their, you know, theology on the map. Which, I, you know, I made the joke, but guys, this isn't all that different from what Doug Wilson is teaching with Federal Vision. Like, I know that might sound shocking to you. But he's saying clearly what a lot of these Federal Vision guys are hiding in their theology. And using different words and words that we know, but using them differently. Like it's, it is like basically that, at least what it, that's what it sounds like. Now, if you go, if you go to their website, guys, please, please don't apply. We can make jokes, but please nobody go. We don't want to be a part of this, uh, but consider your $25,000 appeal. Uh, and you know, they have, Oh, 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 it's not by faith alone. There it is. It proves it. James 2.24. Because we all know that one verse taken out of context 
enables us to have whatever theology we want. <laughs> and but you know, it's only twenty five thousand dollars worth. Also, why twenty five? You know, like why not a hundred? Let's do this like a real game show. Like what is this? Twenty five thousand dollars? What is that going to buy you? Like five gallons of milk these days? Like come on. I think you could do better. <laughs> but yeah, so these guys are obviously they're just trying to get you to go and click on their stuff, but you know, I think it backfired. <laughs> Lucas, I just packed my bags. Where do I pick you up? Hey man, come on up. Uh just cross the border and uh, you know, <laughs> we can go to I don't know. They got good skiing, I hear. I've never skied before. I would fall down a mountain. Um, but it's it's just kind of crazy. So I just thought it would be funny to talk about for a second. But look at this. Look at the numbers of this thing. Obviously, they got the word out because, come on, we all know. <laughs> like Keith, Keith says, Keith, one of my Twitter buddies, guys, this is super weird. It's like heresy plus game show plus pyramid scheme. <laughs> exactly. It's, you know. It's just like, what do they call them? Like an MLM? An MLM? I don't know. I don't, I'm not into that stuff. Uh, but look at 340,000 people watched or saw this tweet with 58.7 thousand people watching the video. Guys, this is a good number. All right. Um, you could see there are 18 retweets, 167 quotes. Uh oh. <laughs> Like, look at the stats here. 41 likes. <laughs> so, like, I saw some people being like, don't give them, you know, any time, any time of day. Don't even retweet it to quote tweet it and make fun of it or anything. Don't do that. You know, you're just going to let that's what they want. Well, they only got 41 likes. <laughs> so I don't think that's exactly what they wanted. <laughs> so, 340,000 views, 41 likes. Uh. My analytics, like YouTube tells me like, hey, you're doing a good job. This is better than your normal one. This would be one of those red ones. And it's like, no, no, Hello. that's that's not a good, that's not a good number. But uh, let's see. All right. Uh, so they've gained, I think, about 30 followers off of this. <laughs> Probably people just being like, what is this? Who is this guy? But basically they, they've given up on reform theology. Now, when I say that you, you might be like, what are you talking about Calvinism for? Uh, and no, I don't mean just sola scriptura like Paul Washer. I'm saying the reform view of salvation, justification by faith alone, they've given up on that and they add works in, but it's no different than so many others that have done this before. Like this sounds like a lot of different people. So this idea of like the new Protestant, it's like, bro, there's nothing new here. <laughs> We've we've heard this before. You're just adding works in again. And they're saying like, oh, come. And there's a part of me that's like, well, maybe he's honest. But then twenty five thousand. <laughs> you add a you add finances to, uh, finances to that. I'm just like, nope, that's not genuine. Not genuine whatsoever. My name is Martin Luther and I think I should become a Jedi. Oh, well, why don't you hop in and maybe. Uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know you'd actually finish that video, so uh, a little awkward. Um, hey, if you did, that means that you probably liked the video, so might as well hit the like button and do me a big favor, right? Also, YouTube is going to recommend a video over here for you to watch. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's good. Anyways. We gotta go find Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs>